All right, let me explain uh, how I soften my clay up. And this is good for any clay that's a plastiline based clay. Um, I got a, di a dish pan and I cut a hole right there so that uh, I could stick my hand underneath the light and grab clay. And I have a swing arm lamp, as you can see. And uh, it has a 100 watt bulb in it. Now those may be hard to find. And uh, I don't know what to tell you about that, but uh, I bought enough 100 watt bulbs the year before they outlawed them to last me for 20 years. I'll be 90 before I'll have to buy any more. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you how I warm up my clay so that you can do the same if you want to. Oh, and I, I cut the clay up in manageable pieces uh, and I use this to uh, do that with. Okay, I'm uh, giving you another sneak peek of uh, the video that I'm putting together to replace a DVD that I already have uh, in existence on how to create a small male bust. Um, I'm going to be making a Norseman or a Viking type character. I'm not certain yet exactly if that's what it's going to be, but it's certainly going to be something from, uh, oh, I'd say the Middle Ages, uh, you know, around the uh, 1100s or around that period of time. Uh, it's just, a, you know, I wanted to uh, do something like that for a long time. And um, I thought I'd make it into a DVD, instruct instructional DVD, because uh, there are a lot of people out there that uh, do that kind of sculpting. And I thought that maybe I could pass on some information on how to do it. Um, I, here I am adding the first clay to it. I made a uh, aluminum foil uh, filler just because it takes up the space that uh, clay uh, would have to t take up and clay is very expensive so I decided to show you how to save money and uh, here I am just uh, lightly packing the clay with a metal tool, flat metal tool, to uh, shape the clay. Anyway, um, if you want to look at uh, some of my other uh, uh, DVDs available, uh, just look in the description below this video and uh, follow the instructions and you can uh, take a look at uh, a review of each one and then how to purchase them. All right, that's it for today. When I do a monumental piece, I do the same thing except I use an old... Uh, side of an old uh, butcher knife.